Hello everybody, this is Queen Rena, and today I'm coming to you with another inspirational video. And this video is actually a little bit about everything. Um, I wanted to answer a couple questions, a few questions about myself um, in this video and uh, deal with some other topics, some other important topics that goes along in the world. Um, but first, wanted to let you know again that I have graduated from the University of Houston Clear Lake with my MBA leadership management degree and I'm very very happy and glad for that. Um, I also have a website www.queenrena88.com and there I sell all natural products, organic and natural products um, for your face, for your hair, for your body, and pretty much for everything. I um, also have business consultations, I also have spiritual consultations, and I have also designer apparel as well, and I'm also making some hand-made uh, designer apparels as well. There, so I will upload those um, in the next few weeks for you guys. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get started with the video. As you see here, I have a few books here. And this particular book right here is my sister's book that she actually um, wrote here. It's called The Empowerment of Self by Kathy, by Kathy Dion here. And I will go ahead and put the link to this particular book. It's a very inspirational book. It has a few uh, little short stories and different things in there that would help you out with your life, all throughout your life, actually. And it's a very inspirational book, and I would recommend that you get this book. And I have another book here. The Women's Encyclopedia of Myths and Secrets. This is a very very good book I love this book it has a whole bunch of myths about women that the society and the whole world tells it has it talks about what virgin really means and you know different things motherhood and um, like Mary Magdalene and what those different signs and symbols really actually mean that this world actually switched around and made something else. So I really, really love this book and I would recommend that you get this book as well. And I have this book here, Heal Thyself for Health and Longevity by Queen of Fua. Everybody that you, anybody, if anybody knows about health and you know, there's some people who talk about health, you would hear them say something about Queen of Four. She has a couple of really, really great books that I would recommend, and this is one of them. And this book here is another one that I recommend here, Sacred Woman. I got to healing the feminine body, mind, and spirit by Queen of Fua. And I would definitely recommend this book. Love, love this book here. So, okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know why I am so passionate and I love to help and I want to help you guys and I want to like help the world or as, at least as many people as possible who are open and who's willing. Um, if you listen to some of my other videos, you know, if you follow with me from like the beginning or at least the middle part of my videos, you know that I am adopted and that I was in foster care and all that type of stuff. <coughs> well, the reason why is because, you know, just a lot of different negative, uh, crazy things that no one, not even children, especially not even children, but no one should have to um, be around. That That is like the reason why. I'm just a whole bunch, just like a whole bunch, of, a whole bunch of things, not just one particular thing. So that is the reason why. And I'm really, really big on saved health, you know, tr to try to keep people 
and kids, not only kids, but like people to actually be themselves, be healthy, take care of themselves, and have the right mind. So kids do not have to deal with those type of things. And so that's like one of the reasons why, and I'm very big on and adamant about women taking care of themselves and women doing what they need to do. Because in this society, this world may not always help and be fit for women. And I am one of the ones who try to change that because my biological um, grandmother, she was not able to defend and help herself, so she wasn't able to defend and help her, her children, you know, when they were being hurt and things like that. And so, as a result, um, my biological mom was not able in, in her right mind to do the things that she needed to do and defend and all that. So, I know how and really how important it is that women all around all around this world you know especially here in America because we can start you know a movement where women are treated fairly and that would just escalate and domino all around the world and so it's really really important and we are actually doing doing that already like especially black women we're like number one in gender and in sex in the education who's a seat in the education in the school system and college and I'm very, very grateful, and I'm just so proud of us. You know, I'm proud of everybody, not just black women. I'm just proud of everybody, but especially black women, because I know how hard it is and how difficult it is to, you know, try to excel in this world. As, you know, even though we're like the mothers of civilization, but you know, this is this is just like our task, you know, to show that. You know, even if you have, you know, a hard time, if you have a hard life, you can, you know, escalate and, you know, prevail and, you know, move through that and achieve greatness. So, you know, if we can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> so, um, another question I get is, I always get this, you know, I've, I've got this same question, like, what type of spirituality um, do, I, do I believe in? Well... I am like a number of different uh, different things and it's not because of any worldly influence it's something that I've always known ever since I was a kid you um, know when I before I was in foster care I, I was already a spiritual very spiritual kid and I just knew stuff if I asked a question the answer just came to me you know and also even before I was even born I remembered stuff and then when I got here I was like where am I you know so I've always, I was always a really old soul <laughs> and I always remembered even though I, I was in kid mode I had to be you know under the simulation of being a kid I still could remember you know being spiritual and different things and so when I was you know told different things from the spirit world I automatically knew and could understand what exactly what was going on and so when I got older I realized that hey the spirit world was right you know even though this world was saying it's kind of the same things but you know saying it in a way that would benefit other people I knew the difference between what was right and what was wrong and so I took what was right from you know I grew up as Christian as in the Christian society so I took what was right, and I just left anything that was wrong. So if it said something about, oh, slavery is okay, and you, you should, you know, let people hurt you and slap you and all that type of stuff, I was like, no, thank you. And, it, and also when they would say the women are are nasty, I've, I've actually started reading the Bible in two, 2009. I actually started reading from Genesis all the way to Revelation. So I know what all it has in there. So when it was a uh, feminine uh, secretions or whatever is nasty during a certain time of month, all that type of stuff, I was like, okay. And then when they would say it's okay to like uh, rape rape somebody or it was okay to like, now it has a whole bunch of like if you haven't read the Bible, it has a whole bunch of yeah stuff that you can actually read if you're open and you're open minded. You can read and be like, this is not right. So it, I was able to pretty much know not to you know, take the baby out and throw the, ba the bath water out. So pretty much. So keep the important information. 
and leave all the crazy stuff that was added pretty much that's pretty much what i'm saying so i am spiritual but i do have um some of my um uh christian uh backgrounds but i only take the most important things and i add it to more of the uh other things that i've learned out in the society and the reason why i do that is because it actually coincide with our, our what i already knew as a child as being two and three years old all, what i already knew is being an old soul and so that is what i do you know treating people right loving people and not letting people hurt you and and just different important things that is common that's common sense so that lets you know that i'm pretty much more spiritual than anything else i like also the buddhist religion of you know taking care of your mind body and soul different things like that and um also um your ancestors I, i've always you know listened to you know the spirit of the world you know that's actually the thing that actually helped me out and got me to the place that i am now you know out of total danger you know from back when i was a kid and you know i just knew things that i wasn't supposed to know and my biological um, aunt and my other um, biological members uh, of my family they told me and pretty much verified what i already knew so as a three-year-old as a two three-year-old and pretty much everything that spirit world told me was correct and i it took me you know a longer period of time to to find that out but I, once i got in contact with him everything that god said was correct so that's how but most people who are spiritual you know that is not really much being news to them they are already in contact with the spirit world and it's really easy really super easy for kids i was a kid like i'm not i wasn't an adult like i am right now i was a kid so everything i wanted to know came to me just like that i mean the answer is like bold and i was like wow okay <laughs> but yeah now the answers will come to me but it's be more subtle because i'm more grounded in the um uh, physical but I'm also spiritual so that it comes to me faster than than most normal people who are not spiritual but um, not as fast as when I was a kid that's why people have to listen to their their their, their little kids because they're they're little they're kids they're they're uh, connected straight to the spirit spirit world and also people need to listen to older people too because they have a lot of wisdom you know this world is backwards you know they're hurting pe hurting little kids and hurting and disrespecting old people and they shouldn't do that that's not right old people have a lot of wisdom you know they're spiritual and they can help the whole they can help you know younger people out and, and kids they're like they're pretty much a ball of love you know um and they they're connected to the spiritual world and they can bring information to you and help the whole help the world and help their parents and pretty much help the world you know gain some insight that maybe they that other people didn't even know and uh, i see that type of things all the time so it's really important that people start treating people right and doing right by people and that's another thing that i advocate um as you will see throughout throughout my videos <laughs> but um also uh get Another question, and um, uh, they want to know, do I have a, a child, do I have any children, and do I want any more? Yes, I do have one child. Uh, she is four and a half years old, very smart. She is an old soul, too, and it, it kind of makes me laugh when I see her go in and out of being an old soul. It's one moment, she, one minute, she's like saying something profound and like, oh my God, old soul is coming, old soul is coming what's happening and then she'll go back to kid mode and i'm like <laughs> but yeah it's so funny because she do she does it a lot and i remember when i was a kid i did it a lot too especially when i was in foster care i was just like god was like don't go around there there's a nail back there it's gonna scratch you i was like hmm i wonder if there's a nail back there and i go back there and there's a nail back there and i'm like hmm i wonder if i climb in here will it actually scratch me and I did it, and I have the scratch mark today. And I will show you the scratch mark here. Don't laugh at me, y'all. Here is the scratch mark. I don't know if you can see it. Good. 
but it's almost it's just actually almost disappeared now so but there is it's almost gone so. <laughs> but when i was a kid um it, it was very, it poked it poked out but now it's almost it's almost disappeared but yeah it used to poke out but it's almost gone now <laughs> but yeah that was my first thing i was like hmm wow that's weird because the thing is i was under the simulation of a kid so even though i was spiritual i still had to act like a, a regular human kid i you know just couldn't know, know everything so i was like hmm or whatever and then i would get more information i would just get random information all throughout and so after that i was like a doctor around um six year old and had a really um uh i, I would say i had a a normal life you know regular um parents i'm kind of strict a little bit but not but they let me you know be you know free or whatever but um not too much uh, spoiling, not too much spoiling or anything like that, just, you know, a normal life and, you know, normal kid, normal childhood. And so, um, I was really, really grateful for that because I told God when I was a three-year-old kid, I was like, you know, I'm not going to, uh, deal with any negativity, right? You know, I don't deal with wrongdoing. And so God was like, okay, calm down. I'm going to get you out of this. And I was like, how are you going to And then I went back to child mode, and I, which was really good because I was up there like, mm, I'm three years old, what am I going to do? <laughs> Okay, and so, and God was right. God got me out of that dangerous situation. So here I am now, graduated from um, with my master's, and take care of my health, and you know, heal people and things like that. And you know, so I'm very, very grateful. So it's really important that people, you know, get, you know, in con in contact with, you know, their spirituality, and pretty much be themselves. It's really, really important because God can help you out. The spirit world can help you out, and and I also watched a a a video, the a movie this um, past weekend, Insidious Three, and I noticed that in these uh, these movies, they be dealing with things outside of them, and instead of dealing with things inside, the spirit world and God and um, uh, your ancestors, they're all within. So anything outside of you, I would be very fearful, not fearful, but like not dealing with that because anything outside of you is not good. So what people don't know is that the spirit world, everything that's up is actually in. So up is in and down is out. So that's the difference between, you know, the spirit world, the spiritual world, and the, which is the real world and this world here. Everything that down is out and up is inside. So if you're dealing with something that's on the outside of you, you need to not pretty much not deal with it. And all the, all the answers that you need is actually within. When God speaks to you, God is inside and God speaks with you in. So it's like a overhead projector. Uh, everything shines out, even though all the important if stuff is inside same same type of thing that that's going on so that's another thing I just wanted to say that is really important some people don't know that um, what else oh people want to know am I going to have another child uh, well no I do not want to have another child I already have one and she's super super amazing she looks just like me um, she's everything that I, I've always wanted and I always knew that I was going to have one. God told me that in ninth grade. Um, and the only reason why is because this world is, um, for black women is not really suitable for our, our needs and like the things in society. Um, I'm not very, uh, satisfied with this world and so is a whole bunch of other black women everybody everybody knows our struggle you know even if they want to admit it or not um and it's the children are 100 percent love heart and but the world outside no it's not so not so much like back in um back in the day you know females had like a whole village to help them they had their uh, spouse they had their grandparents and you know and the actual people helped each other you know they had their 
communities and uh, and things like that and today you know everybody is out for a quick dollar they're just trying to use and abuse people and you know and that's not right and it's you know it's important that we get this world together first we get people together and we get this world together before um we do anything else that's important we shouldn't bring um innocent souls into like a hell hole where people are hurting each other and you know a whole bunch of evil things that's going on so it's really important that we elevate ourselves you know and then there's other people who you know they have plenty of kids and you know that's good too um you know sometimes those people you know have a lot of uh time and help and you know money and things like that but everybody has their own plight and don't and their own things that they need to do in life you know in my life i want to be pretty much busy helping people taking care of you know helping helping older people pretty much and you know help them do what they need to do themselves you know instead of me doing it for them um and also, I'm going to open up a few uh, nonprofits, open up some businesses so I can get jobs out there for people um, and do some speaking arrangements. And I'm pretty much going to be traveling, doing a bunch of different things, you know, trying to help people around the world, uplift women. And so we can uplift everybody because when you uplift women, like people have done studies, um, a whole nation thrives, a whole nation succeeds. And smart elites and uh, smart people, they and people who read, they know this. So that's why you see all around the world, people are trying to uplift women, give them education, and things like that. Because in, in the past, the world has been very on a low vibrational level, and that's because the women have been treated so bad and on a low vibrational level. So it's really, really important that we stop that now. Um, like America, they tried to give women right to vote and things like that, but it was kind of kind of too late. Um, the dollar was already uh, not backed by gold anymore, and they already had wars and like lost a bunch of money with the Great Depression and things like that. So it's really important that we try to start from what little we have now and just try to go from there and just start uplifting. And women can actually do that because we are the mothers of civilization and we pretty much get the answers the answer just comes to us and everything we need just pretty much comes to us you know especially when we're healthy take care of ourselves we take care of, care of our mind body and soul so it pretty much we can make something out of nothing it's not very very hard for, hard for us so it might take a little bit of time but once we get started we will do it so it's really important that you know we just do right by ourselves and we do right by people we help people and we don't take any nonsense from people who try to hurt us and things like that and that is pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video this video is like about 23 minutes um, I want to, again to let you know that my uh, website www.queenrena88.com and again www queenrena88.com I have all natural organic products I have business consultations spiritual consultations also I have a designer apparels as well and I want to thank you again peace and love and also like my video you can leave a comment and please don't forget to subscribe and share thank you Mwah.